welcome back to my channel Miss Katie's Life Nugget. Today I'm going to continue my series on reflections of my childhood and this is a reflection on Jamaica land of my birth. Now um, I wrote it, I didn't remember it and so I'm gonna read it for you, okay? Jamaica land of my birth. 14 parishes have we, some may say 15 as city 2000 Portmore flourishes. We all can say ours is the best parish, but as we stroll down memory lane, let me see if we can do it right. St. Catherine, once called De La Vega, was the first capital. It big, so me no know how me can tell all of it, but let me see how much I remember. Walking through Ilo Plaza many evenings from school, hanging out with friends in Woolworth, Azan, and many of the numerous stores. Some days we would buy Chinese food or eat some festival and jerk from Island Grill. Walking through the streets of Spanish Town was an adventure in its own right. There was always lots to see, stalls of all kinds everywhere. I enjoyed smelling crabs boiling. The result was a tasty, spicy boiled crab or June plum season, whether ripe or green. Add some salt and sometimes a dash of black pepper. Tasty, can done. Mango time, oh mango time. Blackie, stringy, Julie, number 11, East Indian. Mango, mango galore. Licking June plum or mango juice from between the finger was fun. I could go on and on, but because we don't have all evening, let me continue. Stroll a little further to KFC. After eating some KFC, we would sometimes walk down to the corner to Crazy Jim for ice cream. A lot of you don't remember Crazy Jim because it is no longer there. And I would sometimes look from Crazy Jim up to the salt factory. And how can I forget following my mom down Olabo Road to buy white broth from the broth factory? But the funniest thing is to walk the streets of Linstead at Christmas time. Linstead Market, oh, what a time. St. Catherine Coney Park was there, one of the biggest theme parks ever. No longer there, but we had quite a time riding on the roller coasters and enjoying a few stage shows. It was fun. Kingston, the capital city, home of the famous downtown and parade where you could drop till you drop food and clothes galore going to high school in kingston was a whole new world and when my parents finally allowed me to catch the bus the adventure continued but it was nothing compared to boarding at the teachers college of colleges on morasco road pink brown and blue can I say broke out? But that's a story for another day. Like I said, high schooling in Jamaica was awesome. And must I say, if you attended Merle Grove High School, you had a wonderful experience. I will not forget the famous V. Barbara Martin. She instilled many, many important values in us as young ladies. Let me continue. Trips to Rock, the famous Rockfort Mineral Bath, Norman Manley International Airport, don't forget Port Royal. Oh, can I forget Carib Cinema? A lot of people still reminisce about being there, and lots more. St. Andrew, some parts we call Kingston, as everywhere that side is town. Bob Marley Museum is there, home of the famous Coconut Park and Oak Zoo and gardens many first kiss happened here speaking of first kiss let's not forget the famous devon house ice cream galore how can i not mention the time i hiked and camped in the mountains from portland to st thomas we missed the mark trail and end up climbing over precipice using river water to miss to mix lascola soil stopping to beg coconut and barking them for the refreshing water. However, not everything good for eat, good for talk. 
Going to St. Mary every summer was awesome. We climbed guinea apple and mango trees, using coconut bark so our old wood to slide down hills, roaming through the cocoa and coffee walk, sucking on ripe cocoa beans was a treat, or hiding and roasting corn from the neighbor's field. Shh, secret. Journey to the river sometimes meant com coming to hide and boil the catch of the day, crayfish, or some persons say shrimp. One thing that sticks out most is that it was there that I learned how hard it was to kill hog. You see, my family raised pig, and at one killing, it was painful. Because of that, I thought I would never eat pork again. However, that didn't last very long. Yes, for a while I stopped eating pork, but true to my pork-loving nature, no, inter no pun in in intended, no disrespect intended, that didn't last for long. Because every Friday night, we all know, was no cook night. We eagerly waited for jerk chicken or jerk pork with ardo bread. Talking about no cook nights, Wednesday night was stew pe peas and rice night. And Saturday was the famous chicken foot soup night. Eating French fries as a side dish with Sunday dinner, whether it was the usual fried chicken or fried fish or pot roast with rice and peas and lettuce and tomato was a treat. Saturday was also market day. This was usually a long day because those people who my parents would meet and greet, she knew everyone at every stall. Following her to the market was an adventure. Don't know which I dread most. If it was the stench of the meat or slaughterhouse or the fish market, the hustle and the bustle of the market run was always an adventure. What was fun was a few times though, I had the opportunity to go and sell with my mom in the market as she tried her hand at higgling. I met some friends there and formed some lasting relationship. Saturday was also cleaning day in my house and many Jamaican house. I remember wiping the tile with ge red genie floor polish and cloth, then scrubbing it with coconut brush and then shining with the cloth again. Our parents would have been sued for child labor. I have black knees as proof. Even though we bought the electric floor polish, it was, there was nothing that compared to red genie floor polish, coconut brush, and the cloth. Listen, my time in Jamaica was awesome. There is lots more to tell, but I'm going to end right there. I hope to be, tell you some more at another time. Now, if you like this story, and if you like this video, don't forget to share, like, and subscribe as I look forward to telling you more about my life and more about growing up in Jamaica. Until next time, see you soon. Bye.